Hey cuties! I have a fun look for you to try out this Valentine's Day. If you're a romantic at heart, this is the look for you. It's flirty, but with a hint of that sweet romantic side. Let's begin by showing some love to your skin. Indulge in a mask. Your skin deserves it. Just like your body, your skin can get tired and fatigued. It needs a little TLC. If you can, try finding a clay or mud mask. They'll naturally absorb and draw impurities from the skin. I'm using here a mixture of blue clay and black mud, but before it dries, I have to use an activating gel to oxygenate the skin. Just wait five minutes and rinse off your mask. Hello, fresh tingly skin. Now that your skin is clear of toxins, it's a good time to use a serum. A serum is like a supercharger for your skin. It contains more essential vitamins and concentrated ingredients than your normal moisturizer. So apply your foundation or BB cream and blend it out so that it looks natural. Try not to use too much. We want to enhance your skin, not cover it. Use a concealer that has a heavy coverage to help reduce the appearance of dark circles, blemishes, and redness. And once you're done perfecting your canvas, break out your pencil to draw. Brows are very personal. There's no such thing as the perfect universal eyebrow shape. We each have a brow shape that will suit our face best. You won't find it overnight, but that's why you have to keep trying on new brow shapes until you find the one that was made for your face. All right, it's time for eye makeup. I'm gonna prime and shadow my eyes at the same time. Apply a bronze color shadow on your lids to deepen the eyes. This will enhance the natural contours on your eyes. I'm using here my Valentine's Moment palette in Secret Admire. Using the color Goody Two Shoes or find an iridescent pink eyeshadow color and apply this on your lids and bring the color up. This will set the romantic tone. Now take the color Candy Kisses or find a champagne pixie color and add this right under the arch of your brows. This will highlight the brow bone. Next color is Candlelight Dinner, a rosy bronze color with a metallic finish. Add this along the contours of your eyes. And finish highlighting the rest of your eyes. To help give your eyes that dreamy look, use a silver eyeliner and apply this color on your waterline for that doe-eyed look. Using a dark navy or dark brown liquid liner, line your eyes, keeping the line thin. What you do when you reach the outer edge of your eyes is to flick the brush to create that perfect sharp line. Create another faux lash. This will dramatically open up your eyes. And if you want a little more drama, add little lashes on your lower lash line by flicking the brush. Okay, time to curl your lashes to get them ready for mascara. Try and use a mascara that will give you flirty lashes. That means find a formula that will lengthen and add more volume to your lashes. To create the illusion of a slimmer nose bridge, I'm adding a few contour markings on my nose and blending it so that it looks like a natural shadow. Finish off your face with a sheer rosy blush. I'm using here the blush color in Daydreaming. Add this on your cheekbones and blend the color out so that it looks like your face is blushing. You're gonna look like you're in love. Finish off your look with a kiss. Find a soft baby pink lipstick. I'm wearing the color Cuddle Up Pink. And let's complete the look with a shiny gloss. I'm using here a soft fuchsia color that will top my lipstick perfectly. It's not about your it's all and we're done. About your, heart. your eyes should look like they're in love. Be flirty without having to say a single word. Have fun with this look. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. Good luck. With the new Beats Music app, I can pick the perfect music for the moment. And I'm in the mood to romance with my boo. Voila, the perfect playlist. It's like having my favorite DJ at my fingertips. Who's ready for some bro tips? The most important thing for me is, is paying attention to details, because uh, as I once been told, uh, the essential is to be found in details. I had a teacher tell me once, it's all about the details. So I'm always paying attention to small things. 
your a girlfriend is changing her fragrance or anything, just a haircut. And he also said learn French. Pour moi, ce qui est le plus important dans une relation, c'est de se souvenir de date. That, that's a big one. That will definitely get you some brownie points. You know, um, I feel like I always talk about my mom when, you know, things like this are popped into my head. And I always think about something that she always says, you know, she said to communicate and to listen. It really shows that, that you care. And just really being able to lift her up and encourage her through words or an act of service. Communication, it's crucial. The date is de, is de, de se rappeler exactement à, à quel lieu et dans quel café ou quel bar ou peu importe où est-ce qu'on a rencontré la personne. Pour moi, c'est ce qu'il y a de plus romantique de se souvenir exactement de tout ça. All right, fellas, so being romantic obviously takes a lot of attention to detail. However, comma, your romantic delivery should vary depending on the subject. For example, some girls might love to get their feet rubbed. Other girls might hate you touching their feet. See what I'm saying? There are obviously some universal things that you can do that most girls like. Like most girls like chocolate. So whatever you're thinking, if it involves chocolate, girls love candles too. For example, if you just invite a girl over to your house and y'all are just having a romantic night watching Netflix, boom, you set up some candles, you cook some pasta. It's a wrap. A really good tip that a lot of girls love, PDA. But not just, you know, like getting in public. I mean like show up at the girl's job on Valentine's Day with a bunch of balloons and a bunch of chocolate, drop it off and be like, hey, I'm taking you out to lunch today. Or a lot of schools do the whole, you know, roses or little candy things that you can deliver. Get like 30 roses and have them delivered to her. So she'll be in the middle of class and then boom, all these roses plop on her desk. And all the other girls are looking at her like, oh, I wish Somebody left me like that. But one tip that pretty much every girl is gonna love, fellas, is a handwritten love letter. Not typed, not email, not message on Facebook, a handwritten love letter. And if you wanna go to the next level, I'm talking, we're talking pro status here, mail it to her. Bah! Those are some quick tips for you guys. Hopefully, it'll help you score some brownie points when it comes to uh, your significant other this Valentine's Day. Yeah, just be who you are and just keep it real. <laughs> so to say I love you in French, je t'aime. Ich liebe dich. Te amo. Sarangeo. Sarange. Sarange. How do I say I love you? Pizza. Happy Valentine's Day. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel.